Maleke Bordo, Zakrade, Malata Cabarade, Lake Balata Cabarade, Lotto Cabarado, Zakabarade, Lake Bon Shake Barade, Lake Borada, Mark de Cabarado, Zikrete, Lata Cabarade, Lake Bon Shake Baraha, Malata Cabarade, Zikabala Ke, Lake Bo, Zakabarade, Lake Baracabaya, Lata Cabarade, Lake Bon Shake Baraha, Lake Bo, Zata Cabarade, Lete Cabarado, Zike Bodo Shake Baha, Mokto Cabarado, Lake Bon Shake Baha, is a new dimension for me, Capra Con Shake Baha, is a new dimension, Macrade, Lake Bon Shake Baha, Lake Bodo, Cabarabe, Mokto Cabodo, Macrade Sekebo Shake Baha, we thank you, Lord, Macrade, Mokto Cabodo, for the impact, Capra Con Shake Baha, of this meeting right now, Mokto Cabodo, Lake Bon Shake Baha. The impact will be not abroad in the name of Allah Jesus Christ. Mok toko borado, leke bon sheke baha. Mok teke borado, leke bon sheke baha. La taka baha, we will run with the vision. Mok teke borado, we are we are on the go. Pa kon sheke baha. Mok toko borado, makrade, makrade, mok toko borado. The vision will not leave us lost in our hands in the name of Allah Jesus Christ. Mok toko borado, leke bon sheke baha. Mok toko borado, leke bon sheke baha. We are fruitful and productive in the name of Lord Sky. We are profitable to the ministry at large in the name of Lord Sky. We are pretty profitable. Like a bone shake of her to our Lord and Savior Jesus Sky. Mock talk about a dog. Like a bone shake of a day. Mock talk about a dog. Like a bone. Shata Cabarade. Like a bone shake of a day. Like a bow. Sata Cabarade. Mock talk about a dog. Mock talk about her. We bear fruit and our fruit remains in the name of Jesus Christ. We are fruit bearer. Keep our own shake of a heart. Keep our own shake of a heart. We belong to the first much food class. Keep our own shake of a day. Mock talk about a dog. Like a bone shake of a heart. That the impact of this training meeting. Keep our own shake of a heart. We be not abroad in the name of Jesus Christ. Mock talk about a dog. Like a bone shake of a day. Let's take a day. Like a bone shake of a Like a bone shake of a day. Mock talk about a dog. Like a bone shake of a it be evident in our churches. It be evident in our lives. In the name of Lord Sky, let the Cabrado, Jot of Cabrado, Mac Cabolo, Lot of Cabrado, Lake a bone shake about a half, Malake Bordo, Lake a Bordo, Lake a Bordo, Zaka Barade, Lake a bone shake about a day, Malata Cabarade, Mock to Cabarabo, Mac Cabaraba. We are fruits who are put on him, Capra Con Shakabaha. We are fruits who are put on him, in the name of Lord Sky, Mock to Cabarabo. We function by grace, Capra Con Shakabaha, Mock to Cabarabo, all grace. Advice unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. Mock to Cabarado, like a bone shake of a heart. Mock to Cabarabo, like a bone shake of a heart. Like a brade, like a bone shake of a heart. Like a brade, like a bone shake of a heart. Oh, hallelujah! Oh, hallelujah! Blessed be God for in just my name. Amen. Give the Lord a big shout. Glory. Praise the mighty Jesus. Good evening, church. I want to especially appreciate my man of God, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for the opportunity. Glory to God. I would like us to take back our seat. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, right now, we will be watching, we will be listening to the state of the nation, glory to God, by esteemed Sahivon on Chronicle of Prophecy and her team, glory to God. Then after which, we'll be having a session with esteemed Pastor Yemisi on Rhapsody, glory to God. So I'd like us to kindly bring out our writing materials as we listen to these sessions. Please, if there's a seat in front of you, I'd like you to occupy it. Particularly if you're a pastor, a coordinator, or a DP, kindly let's occupy the front seat. Or a team leader. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thanks so much.
Level Up Pastors and Partners. Welcome to IPPC 2022 Celebrating Answers. This is the International Pastors and Partners Conference 2022 with Pastor Chris. Praise God. Well, I want to take this great opportunity to thank our dear men of God, the apostle of our time, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilome. What an amazing father we have. I really thank God because, you know, he has led us for the past two years. It has been something, but here we are, a living testimony. So praises be to God. I also want to take time to thank um, the CEO, the director of programs, all our esteemed partners and pastors that are here today, all the nations that have gathered for the biggest conference ever. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. So today we just want to give you an update on what has been happening in our nation. And this obviously is in relation to the prophecies uttered by our dear man of God. And what has happened in the world today? Isn't it just so fulfilling that everything that pastor said actually came to pass? Well, they were in denial, but it actually happened. Praise God. So that's what we're going to talk about. And as always, I'm not alone. I'm with my partners in my father's business. Good to be with you as always, guys. <laughs> it's always a Thank pleasure. Thank you. It's an honor. Praise God. All right, so we want to start by showing you a video, a quick video, and then we can take the discussion from there. Remember what I told you. You remember, Pastor Chris, when you was also talking about these things that it's actually, you know, a hoax? We cannot require someone to be vaccinated. What do you have to say about people like Pastor Chris? I told you that they were going to bring these vaccines. Well, he was right from the start. And at once they started with the vaccines, it's vaccine after vaccine. Predicted or said uh, two and a half years ago, all of this is true. They miscalculated this thing. These are the world's experts! It is a matter of privacy to know who is or who isn't. You don't want to mandate and try and force anyone to take a vaccine. Didn't Pfizer just come out and say that they didn't actually test the vaccines? They planned it. They lied to you from the very beginning. Everything that you presented as evidence that they denied at that time has actually proven to be true. They knew they were lying all Time. before the uh, European Parliament yes. that they didn't conduct any trials to look into the efficacy of the so-called vaccine. Thanks. They weren't looking for a solution because they created the problem. There wasn't any real trial done. They will never be liberty until you're vaccinated. And I thought, what? Neither <laughs> for the efficacy nor for the safety of the Pfizer vaccine. They created the problem. As a whistleblower, she informed the FDA about this. They weren't looking for a solution. They prepared a pseudo solution. We don't want to be mandating from the federal government. The vaccination was not the end goal. To the general population. I told you. He's a Christian and he believes that God will handle everything. I said they don't intend to ever allow you have peace anymore. They admitted that and it's on record. Global level deception. They should have, as the authority that oversees these things, they should have stepped in. The idea was to get as many billions as they could in the world to be vaccinated. So this was just one big, I should say, fraud. No, they are of the world! There's no doubt in my mind that we're running out of conspiracy theories. Therefore speak they of the world and the world here at them just to get you struggling until you give up. The major allegation was that Pfizer didn't really conduct a trial. They use all the right lingo. Because they didn't adhere to any rules. This megalomaniac psychopath. Satanic monolith. They knew that they'd done a lot of evil. Pfizer's defense was, oh, we didn't have to adhere to any rules and regulations. Mr. Professor. Have you seen the documentation? Misinformation that is orchestrated for this vaccine. Because we were under a special contract with the DOD. It usually takes some power 
to do that. We didn't have to stick to any rules. Try to fight and recover themselves from every front. We, we, we could do whatever we wanted to do. It is about establishing a Luciferian order. Now that's outrageous. It is about enthroning Satan. The people who got the shots, I don't think they were ever told that there were no trials conducted. The World Economic Forum Club is about. This is what it's about. This is totally outrageous. It's criminal. It's definitely a crime against humanity. You know, when you talk about the deep state, this is really the deep state. That spirit of falsehood, I told you, the word plané means deceit. So get booster, 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 booster. If you look at the results of this. Until the ultimate vaccine comes. There was never any necessity. Yeah, we were right all the time. And the ultimate one would be six, six, six. Never any necessity for vaccines, even if this had been a vaccine, but it's not. This is the reality. Because vaccines, by definition, make you immune against a certain disease. You're gonna keep getting vaccinated. Everyone knows, even Pfizer and the other um, vaccine maker makers agree. They insist that you had to be vaccinated. These shots do not make you immune against anything. It doesn't kill of the infection. It doesn't stop the spread. There's no necessity for the so-called vaccine. What was the purpose of the vaccination? There was no pandemic. It was created yeah. with the help of a fraudulent PCR test and there are alternative measures of treatment. I see evangelism to the ends of the earth. I see the word of God expanding, spreading everywhere. I said, that's what I see. That's what I see. And I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ that so shall it be. Right, so the gentleman in that uh, video is Dr. Rainer Fjolmich. Do Dr. Rainer Fjolmich is a leading German lawyer. And at the beginning of the year, they approached us and said that they wanted us to be their media partner so that we can collect evidence of this COVID vaccine fraud. This after they had listened to the man of God. So imagine we had all the other news stations, they didn't even care. They watched your love world, they watched our news and made us an international media partner. So as we sit here, there's a court session that is happening in different parts of the world, in Germany, in all these places, and they are showing our evidence. Now let's talk about that. I think that's a testimony and a very big testimony. Let's talk about that. Amen. Uh, first of all, I am absolutely grateful to be here. And it's an amazing opportunity. I also am proud to be in this battalion. And um, a battalion that is led by a prophet of God who had discerned deception from afar and has called out to the world to know it. I mean, we still see some people who are Christians and they still can't see the deception when it's in front of them. But we are glad we have the direction of God. Now, to answer the question or to talk about this, we thank God because the devil meant it for evil. Yeah. But God always, always has a way above all the attempts of the devil. So in this period when there was supposed to be a lock up and lockdowns, God has in his own battalion lifted a standard that has ridden so far ahead. Not just with the word of truth, but also with the knowledge of God. And so when they are taking these... Uh, your love word sessions, pastor is talking about the vaccines the, 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 and giving uh, the insight, prophetic insight, but also he's talking about the counsel of God. Yeah. He talked about uh, uh, the book of Colossians the other day, he talked about Christ in you the other day. So they're not just hearing stuff about vaccines and the, the deep state at work, they're also hearing about God and his Holy Spirit at work. Yeah, because what they actually did in this grand jury, they actually admitted that it is spiritual. I've never heard a court of law that actually says it's true that it's spiritual, but they actually presented it as being spiritual. So that was prophecy fulfilled, right? Yes. Prophecy fulfilled one out of the so many? So many. Right, because of time, I just want to move fast. So let's then talk about... Um, a very latest development, and I'll go to you, Progress, when it comes to the number of people, when pastors started talking about that, we're more than 7 billion people. Well, remember last year, and I would like to also express my profound gratitude to our dear man of God. I remember very well last year, which is why I would like to express my gratitude to him. 
he said, we are taking the warfare into the cyber. And I didn't understand at that time what it actually meant. I thought maybe we were going to launch more satellites and the like. And then all of a sudden, if you look at the numbers in terms of our programming, from the reach out world, you look at what happened with the healing streams of the global yeah. minister's classroom, all of a sudden, it went into the numbers that even the world cannot deny, right? We got to see 4 billion, 5 billion, 7 billion, and the man of God also told us during Reach Out World that I know there are more people than what they're actually admitting to. And then we got to find out two days ago, they say that the population is actually bust by its seams. It has gone over 8 billion people. How does that happen? People just burst out of nowhere, and then people just become 8 billion people. Pastor said don't, the first time. Don't forget time. that they were also killing some in the process. That means there is more to the numbers that are there. If you look at this idea of numbers, they admitted to so many things. It was the numbers for 8 billion people. It was also the numbers when it comes to what the ministry was actually doing. Because remember, our demon of God says, we're taking the warfare into the cyber. And then all of a sudden, we're talking about billions and billions. And they at first actually said it's misinformation. There is no data like that. We got to see the funeral of the queen. They admitted that 4 billion people actually watched her funeral. And it was actually confirmation of what our demon of God said. We have taken this warfare into cyber and they're losing. And I'm just thinking of what our demon of God has actually said in IBPC 2022 about the, the kingdom of God and what it actually does. In this case, talking about the authority, the power, and how the government that is supposed to be there is our government as the church. And I'm thinking, what else can they do? I was thinking a few days ago, there's a man who tried to actually throw an egg at a king. I'm talking of King Charles from the UK. The powers that were actually revealed from that incident, the man now actually has got a stop and search warranty from the police for eggs. And I'm thinking, our dear man of God actually showed us clearly that this is our time. This is the time of the church. There is no authority. There is no name. There is, they are not supposed to be in charge. And I'm thinking, what would 2023 be like? Yeah. Because the state of the nation is actually determined by what is actually said at the biggest conference, like you said. And interestingly, we are here at IPPC. There is COP27 that is happening somewhere. In Egypt, yeah. Right? There is a global cybersecurity forum that was happening somewhere in Saudi Arabia. And then there was G20, which was happening somewhere. And they are trying to actually control the world. And our dear no good. I, I like what Reverend Ken actually said. Wealth is here. Control is here. Power is here. Authority is here. And we control the nations of the world. We definitely do control the nations of the world before you come in. Because I want to go back to the point where they now have admitted that there's more than 8 billion people. Do you know what that says to me? They are watching Pastor Chris. So because Pastor Chris is very well, should I say, fact-checked, because he uses the Bible, so they can't deny it. They have no choice but to break news that we already know is true, that, oh, they've actually discovered that there's more than 8 billion people. So who's leading here? You know, who's it, leading? It, it actually, praise God. It actually speaks to the authority of the church like what the man of God has been showing us. And speaking of the uh, utterances that the man of God actually said last year, um, when he said we are actually taking the war into the cyberspace, today we're using SPEs, right? Because what they were trying to do with the monetary systems of the world was to actually launch CBDCs. And they've been pushing these things um, ahead of time because they wanted to actually exert control. And today we're taking the war to them because we're using SPEs. Yes, and it so happens that at IPPC this year, it's SPs that we're using. In the last Global Communion Service, pastors spoke about the digital currencies, which they want to use, by the way, to control people. So clearly that shows that the Holy Spirit moves faster um, before they can actually, you know, come up with any plan. And let's talk about languages. So if you go online, the open information by the CIA, it turns out that we have more languages in Rhapsody than the CIA agrees there is. Yeah. So what is going to happen is they have to come to us to update their database about the number of languages that we have. They do. They actually do. The and same... Re okay. Yeah. And what that tells us is that God knows more about us than they think they will ever know. No matter how much surveillance they will do, no matter how much lookout they will do, God knows and has gone ahead to take care of things. And the best they can do is update by copying us. The same way they would have denied that um, the Rhapsody has translated languages, 
at a very fast succession that had, has ever been recorded in the Guinness Book of Records. They wouldn't put that, not that we care about the Guinness Book of Records anyway, we are a book of records ourselves. So, you know, it, it just shows you that the Love World Nation is strategically positioned. Never take that for granted. So there's something that is also happening in the education system where the children have been targeted. I don't know if you have paid a closer look to that, but if you haven't, I suggest you do. So, the dolls that you would normally buy for your children, you know, you buy a female doll, you buy a male doll, and your kids can play with them. Did you know that you can buy a female doll, just to show you that there's an agenda, with male organs? Yeah, they are doing that right now. They have transitioned young children because they thought that they were educated, they were being educated that they can choose their own agenda. So you're born as a girl, but you can be a boy. And many of them are regretting it. One boy came out and said that young children would never be able to make this decision on their own unless they are forced. So it's truly an agenda. And that's why our men of God has been on the forefront of education. Look at what the Love World Schools are doing. Governments of countries cannot even do what pastor is doing. The inner city missions has really moved. So the children are being targeted and we have to be very careful. I want to remind you what pastor said, the two things that will bring judgment to the nations, the deceit that we're seeing right now and homosexuality.